Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a tutorial and a makeup brush review on these beautiful brushes from Shop Misse. Shop Misse was so kind enough to reach out to me and ask me if I wanted to review some of the products on my channel. I said yes. You know why? Because these things are a dollar. Everything on the website is a dollar each. This brush, a dollar. Sponges, a dollar. So I was like, hell yes. Especially because you guys always ask me to use more affordable products and can't get any better than a dollar. Obviously this whole set isn't a dollar, it's individual brushes are a dollar but still, you know. And it's a dollar US for any of my New Zealand Aussie subscribers. Obviously I don't know if I need to say this but I'm just going to say it anyway. These products were sent to me but all opinions are my own or reviews on my own. You guys already know I'm honest on my channel and yeah. So if you guys want to see how they perform and or if you want to know how you can get this look then keep watching i've got all my tools i think i'm going to start with the eyes first Ooh, this looks like a good one. Oh my gosh this is so soft didn't expect that so i'm just going to use my usual urban decay primer potion i'm going to grab a brown so i'm just going to grab anastasia's morocco that one there I'm just going to grab a P112 brush, which is a tapered blending brush. I'm going to grab the shade Morocco, quickly throw that into my crease. Oh my gosh, these brushes are really soft. I don't know if I mentioned the brushes that I got. I don't know if I'll add it into the intro. I have a really large face brush, like it's a large fan brush. I have a blush brush, which I would probably use for contour and I have a flat foundation brush and then I have an angled shader brush, tapered blending brush, a small eyeliner brush, not bad for a dollar, precise concealer brush, angled brow brush, and I got a spoolie. What am I missing? Oh um, no, that was my flat shader brush <laughs> and then my concealer brush. So we're pretty much set for like a full face. I'm just gonna go to my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Beauty Color Palette and I'm gonna grab the shades Vanity, this one here. And we're just gonna blend it all in. I want this look to be quite smoky. If there was one part of your makeup look that you didn't wanna rush, don't rush your blending. Cause that is what, well that's one of the things that pulls your look together. The F16 Precise Concealer Brush and I'm just going to use it to put eyeshadow on my lower lash line and then I'm just going to... Oh, I know it's a concealer brush but I just want to use it to add some precise eyeshadow on my lower lashes. I found that different brushes work well, like work better for different reasons so you don't actually have to follow what they're made for. A quick wipe and then you can keep using it. Or like spot clean with a brush cleaner. Once that's on, I'm gonna grab the shade Courtney from the same beauty color palette and just put that onto the um, edges of my shadow just to um, blend out any of those lines. I'm just gonna grab the shade China White on a E11. What's this one called? I don't know the exact names of them. This is the E111 Angle Shader Brush. And I'm just going to use this to apply highlight on my brow bone. It's actually a really good brush to put under your brows. It seems to fit well in mine. Like this area because it's angled. Did I say it was? An angled shader brush. Contours around the eyes and the nose. Yes, it does contour around the eyes and the nose. The colour tattoo in Barely... No, it's as bad to the bronze but I think it's Barely branded. I'm going to grab a synthetic brush which is the E122 which is the small that shader. Pop this on my eye and then I'm going to put glitter on it later. I'm quite impressed with these brushes actually. Like all I could think is like damn they're a dollar? I feel like this is how much things should be you know. It reminds me of Liza's video of like her trip to the dollar store. So I'm going to grab my black rainbow shade with that same E112, I think it's an angle shader brush. I'm just going to quickly put some of that in here just to deepen it up a little bit and then just give it a little blend. 
It's so funny because I'm gonna go to work and <laughs> it's like 8 a.m. They're gonna see me come in with like a VSS smoky eye and be like, girl, did you forget? Did you forget you're coming to work today? So now that that's all done, I'm gonna grab my Lit Cosmetics glitter. This is in Beach Baby. So I'm gonna use the E117 small eyeliner brush and I'm just gonna put some glue on. This is the small flat shader brush. I'm just gonna apply some glitter. I'm gonna use the Smashbox Limitless Liquid Liner. I'm just gonna apply mascara real quick. This is the Maybelline Illegal Lint Mascara. For lashes today, I'm just gonna use the Morphe 410 lashes. They're just really wispy and fluttery. Just cause these are, like they're big, they're not too crazy to wear all day. So I mean, <laughs> I am going to work. Oh, and they also gave me like a little lash applicator. Let's try this. It's just what it looks like. I've never actually used a lash applicator. I always just use tweezers. It feels like the NARS packaging. You know, the soft... Ooh, this could be good. So while I'm waiting for my glue to dry, I'm just gonna grab the spoolie, which is the E119, and brush through my brows. And then I'm gonna grab my E114. I'm thinking this is the um, brow brush. I'm gonna grab my Chi Chi Brow Pomade in dark brown. This is so funny how I'm showing things. In dark brown. Just gonna use this to fill in the sparse areas of my brows. I'm not actually used to using a quite a big eyebrow brush, but honestly, it seems to be working well. Cause I, I just drew a line over here and it just filled it in nicely. I literally did my brows in like two strokes. I mean, granted, I have a lot of hair. We all know that. So one thing I like about this eyelash applicator is you can actually put it in between your lashes and push the lash band down like this to make sure that it's really nice and stuck on. Okay, while we're waiting for my glue to dry, then I'm gonna use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm just gonna use my eyeliner brush to line, well, to hide my lash band, really. This is the mirror luminizer and I'm gonna grab my little flat shader brush and just highlight on my inner corner of my eyes. I'm gonna be using a mix of my NARS All Day Weightless and Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. And I'm using my F15 brush, which is a flat foundation brush. I'm gonna use a sponge to blend it out. I'm just gonna use the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. It's in the sand, shade Sand Beige. The other one was Syracuse. And I'm just gonna apply that to the inner parts of my face. Just cause it is lighter and it's heavier coverage. I really like brushes like this cause I don't just use it for, I tend to actually use it for um, applying my masks. Shop Miss A was really kind enough to give me two sponges. I think these are called the Wonder Sponges. Yeah, Wonder Blender. So I think I'm gonna use this one. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. They're actually, it's doing really well at blending. Like I'm not trying to be like every product is great, but I'm just a little bit blown away at how good these products are. I mean, everything is a dollar. How is that possible? And the good thing with this Milani foundation is that it's a two-in-one concealer foundation. So I don't actually think I need to use concealer, but I'll probably add a little bit here. This has done really well at blending. I'm gonna try this one. To conceal, I'm just gonna use some of the Collection Concealer in W Warm 3. And I'm just gonna put some, just a little bit under my eyes. 
and on my nose. Just a bit of extra coverage. So far loving the sponge, like it's very comparable to my beauty blender. I don't think we really get things for a dollar here, like at the, we'd have like a two dollar shop. But even things at the two dollar shop are like seven dollars. Now that we've done that, I'm just gonna grab my F13, I think this is a powder brush, blush brush. I'm gonna use it to put on some translucent powder, this is by Face of Australia. I'm going to use the same brush to apply some contour. I'm going to grab the NARS Laguna bronzer and just pop that into the hollows of my cheeks. I'm going to use the Smashbox blush and idolize me because I love this. I'll be honest, if I'm getting ready by myself, I usually do use the same brush for like multiple things because I like getting ready quickly and I'm really not bothered. Lastly, I'm gonna put on some highlighter. Mary Luminizer and the massive, I love brushes like this, I don't even own one like this. It's a five, no five, F11 brush. It's a large fan brush. Oh, I could have done blush and bronzer with this, dang. Oh well. So I'm just gonna grab the Mary Luminizer and just apply that, ooh, whoa. Where has a fan brush been all my life? Like you think it's massive, but it does so well. I'm gonna pop some on my nose. Keep it there. I'm gonna grab some black eyeliner. This is by NARS. And just gonna quickly tight line and apply some on my waterline. So for lip line, I'm just grabbing the Jordana lip pencil in Plum. I'm gonna go with Jeffree Star's liquid lipstick in Unicorn Blood. So I'm gonna use the F16. Ah, oh, it's a precise concealer brush. Well, I can use this on my lips. Because this makeup has to be on all day. I managed to do a full face of everything with all of these. Oh, and these. Final review, um, would highly recommend them. They're a dollar each. You can't even beat a dollar. They also have other ones on the website, so you don't just have these. There's the PM brushes. They've got like a lip brush, like a flat definer brush, eyeliner brushes, like a smudge brush. There's a lot more on the website. I am blown away by how good these brushes are. I mean, come on, a dollar, right? They also sent me a few other things. They sent me some makeup remover cleansing wipes. They sent me a few of these cute little makeup bags. They sent me this little um, brush cleaner thing that you put on your two fingers and then you grab your brush and you just clean away so i mean hey it's a dollar crazy very very grateful that i got to show these products on my channel let me know what you guys thought of the makeup look down in the comment section and also i have linked all of shop miss a's um links in my description box so check them out because they've got some amazing products there as well i was looking at the eyelashes like there's tons of stuff that i want to buy like they've got eyelashes they've got makeup they've got jewelry they've got hair stuff like all for a dollar it's ridiculous like you should definitely check it out and that's about it i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs> Anyways, I'm way too excited. I need to go to work. Bruh, will you focus? Yes, look at my jaw. Um, um. Um, 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 um. I'm dipping my fingers in shadows. Oh my gosh, you guys. I was like, why does everything feel so soft? I'm just ruining my palette. Because <sighs> I'm a dog. Oh my gosh. A teeny tiny itty bitty one. Like the highlight. Popping.